So a lot of you guys that have picked up your Model Ys from Fremont and Highlands from Shanghai, you're all asking the exact same question. Will your vehicle be able to be retrofitable with the new bumper cameras? Now something interesting has come up recently and if you guys have been following this channel, you know by now what we're talking about when we're referring to hardware 4 and hardware 4.5. But let's take a step back here and talk about all the possibilities and all of the changes that has happened so far. Originally, this was never an issue. It was never brought up until the introduction of Tesla Vision and the removal of ultrasonic sensors. There was always the fact that we did not have bird's eye view after so many iterational changes of the hardware. And in comparison to German vehicles and Japanese vehicles coming off the line, pretty much every vehicle now does have some form of bird's eye view coming standard from factory. But honestly, it wasn't all that bad. Not until Tesla officially switched over to vision only and that was when things got a little hectic and a lot of people were complaining about the parking situation. Now in my personal experience, I would say the high resolution cameras in conjunction with the ultrasonic sensors worked flawlessly and there was no need. I totally forgot that there was no bird's eye view and there was no front facing camera. So now, like I said, all of this changed when Tesla Vision arrived and it was purely Vision at this point. And this is when things got crazy because Tesla Vision, the software that was supposed to fix all of this, did not fix anything and it introduced a lot more issues. Although all of this didn't work out as expected, it made complete sense that they were going over to Vision because we as human drive with our eyes and with Vision only and and it would just make practical sense that the vehicle would do as well. However, with what we have right now, I wouldn't say it comes close to what a human can see. If you guys want to check out my real life testing, I'll drop a link in the description below and some up top there so you guys can click through them and check them out yourself. But trust me, this is not what you want to be relying on when you try to fit into a tight parking spot. Now, the real big bummer to this is since the inception of Tesla Vision until this very point, we still don't have a single real software update to fix any of this. And I do think that Tesla has realized the limitation falls within the hardware and not within software. I have said this time and time again with all the videos covering hardware 4 that we do have a blind spot right up front, right underneath the front bumper camera and the hood. And unless there is some magical way for the front facing cameras to see through the hood, there is no possibility of it ever getting real live accurate data. All right, so now what confuses us even more and what makes this even more interesting is the recent renderings of the Model 3 Highlands in China. Somehow Tesla has indicated that this does come with the new front bumper camera. And what made this even more odd is the fact that they included the front bumper camera itself in the recent renderings. And about a week after they completely removed it and all its existence on the Tesla website. This could really only indicate that it has to do with production or QC. This means that they are holding off until it gets a little bit more mature, more tested to make sure that it handles all the different types of weather and a lot of things that would block the camera. I would say that the first market it drops into is going to be North America because the front facing bumper camera is not going to just serve the purpose of parking, but it's also going to work with full self driving beta. At least this is what we're all thinking, but there are indications that came out recently that says otherwise. So this is why we're going to talk about it right here here. So now you would think that the hardware 4 inside of the Model Ys as well as the Model 3 Highlands that have already shipped is going to come with a retrofitable board, some kind of wiring harness that is just sitting here empty without the front bumper camera. And in the future, Tesla would just simply plug and play and this is where we would get it activated. Well, this is no longer the case. If you own a Model Y in Fremont or from Giga Shanghai, you are not going to have the ability to upgrade upgrade this with the future camera. A user by the name of Xiao to Shushu, which has a good track record of releasing information from Tesla that hasn't been given to the public, has really dissected this board here and has noticed that there is no port available for hardware for, for the front bumper camera. The board that we see right here
here is the same board for the Model 3 Highland as well as the Model Y from Fremont with Hardware 4. This board right here is a sub-brand board that Tesla has contracted with another company to build for Tesla specifically for the Model Y and Model 3 and it does have a lot of things removed. Things such as ports, Ethernet, SSD, RAM and a bunch of other GPU related work has been completely removed from this board. That means that we are not going to be able to plug and play any future items into this board. This is completely different than the Model S and X which is the full-fledged board and it has ports available for the radar, for the front bumper camera and for any extra components that come in the future. If you guys want to know all about this, I do have a specific video directly on this hardware 4 board. If you guys want to check that out, drop a link in the description below and up top there. Click onto that and you'll know everything about it and what you guys should be expecting. So yeah, looking back at this board, it looks like they are two completely empty holes. I wouldn't even say that they are connectors because they aren't even connected to the board at all. So there is no possible way that Tesla is just gonna plug a wiring harness into them. It's pretty safe to say at this point, if you've already picked up your Model Y from Fremont or the Model 3 from Highland China, this is going to be a bummer. You are out of luck and you're you're not going to be able to upgrade to any of these things once they are available. Now, if all you care about is just Tesla Vision Parking Assist, I do have my hopes that Tesla is going to greatly improve on this in the next couple months with V12. That is going to provide a lot more stability in the software and you can have a lot more accuracy when you do pull forward even without the front bumper camera. But just like I said, there is no possible way to see through the front hood and with the front facing camera behind the windshield there is a large distance to approximate and there is no 100% accuracy especially in the dark or in inclement weather. So really the bottleneck is always going to be this front bumper camera because it's the only camera needed to fill in all the blind spots around the vehicle and without that it is literally impossible to get bird's eye view. So if you guys were waiting for that as well you're going to have to wait up for another vehicle in the future when that does get released. There is no doubt in my mind at at this point, Tesla is going to add this front bumper camera into every one of its vehicle. So if you can hold out just a little bit longer, you are going to get all the cameras surrounding around the vehicle and this is going to be the perfect spot. So there is going to be a lot of upcoming changes to the Model 3 Highlands. We've documented it in my previous videos going from seats to material to a bunch of other cool things as well. If you guys want to check those out, I'll drop a link in the description below. There's tons of links by now probably. Uh, and probably one up top there for you guys to click. So if you can wait out a little bit longer, you're going to get the best of the best. And I do think that regardless of whatever other features there is, this front bumper camera is going to future-proof your vehicle for years to come. So make sure you get it in your vehicle if you haven't already taken delivery. Anyways, this should wrap it up for this one. I will keep you guys as updated as possible on all of the little details. Maybe other channels don't cover all the minute things, but this is where you guys can get the latest and the most detailed things about the vehicle that you're planning to pick up. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you haven't already done so. And follow me on Twitter or X at HeyJohnE. That's where you can discuss with me things that you can't discuss on YouTube here. So yeah, this should wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.